what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel we are here we are back checking out the trailer for the volume 4 update coming to need for seed unbound very soon um this trailer just dropped a little bit ago so i'm excited to see what it's bringing to the game and what we can expect from it and based off the little teaser that we saw yesterday it looks like it's gonna be very heavily portioned one with the 75th anniversary coming up uh so let's just hop right into the trailer and check it out all right so we got a titan and a portion 11 need to see unbound Fuck four on there so we got lots of porsches here and that i can super clean all right so we're just racing some porsches all the way through um and yeah, a lot of different colors on that one it looks really good i'm excited to see maybe we can engine swap the titan and then lots of air on that one so okay so we got gauntlets playlist speed list new speed pass new link up locations and it looks like some car packs but that's actually a pretty short trailer uh, so i'm actually let's go to the website and see what we can get on there so here we are on the website need for speed unbound volume 4 to celebrate 75 years of porsche with a special event and wild light legendary custom porsche in volume 4 go there rushes the cops join and join the chase in new gauntlet playlist and stand out on on the street with new premium content in store okay so again, like I said, it's very Porsche, uh, heavy Porsche. So I'll celebrate 75 years of Porsche, tear up the unique Porsche 75th anniversary playlist and smash stunt based challenges and link ups. Finish the playlist three times to earn a full electric Porsche Taycan Turbo S22. Huh. Okay, so that's pretty easy to get. Oh, and we get a free gift card. Cool. Need for speed heat gift. Find some fire in your garage. You felt the heat in Palm City, now it's time to make your way to the top in the street racing scene in Lakeshore. Check out your garage when you arrive and you'll find the McLaren F1 1994 ready and waiting for you as a welcome gift. Okay, it's actually really sweet. Um, it doesn't say when we get this, but when is this update drop? It doesn't show either. Okay, so that's cool. We get a free car out of it, which actually is fun. This was in Need for, Need for Speed Heat, which was actually one of the two DLC cars. Um, this one was paid and I think the uh, Aston Martin was the free one. So that'll be cool to see. Um, you know what new uh, changes this one will have so we have a new speed pass so celebrate the streets new speed pass content run it back with refresh 75 rank speed pass offering 75 free items for the for you to stir up the streets with reach rank 50 and blast through the competition the wildest legendary custom Porsche 911 Carrera so that Lakeshore has seen okay so unfortunately that's kind of a bummer um, I was hoping they would add more uh, cars to the uh, to the speed pass that way we kind of can incent get more incentive to complete it because i'll be honest me personally i actually didn't go the full 75 actually with 50 got the viper and just called it a day i haven't really touched it since so i feel like if they would have added maybe one or two more cars into there i would have been more incentivized to actually play the full 75. Um, so that's kind of a bummer but maybe we'll see in the future update they'll change that and then, so run the gauntlet playlist. Feel the ultimate thrill of the street racing as the most determined cops in Lakeshore try to take you down as you race. Get busted and go home empty handed, but smash the field and make it to the end of the route for big bank and bread. Okay, so I think, okay, so cool. So they're bringing cops in on the race now. So that's gonna be fun. It's gonna make it give it more of a challenge. Um, and hopefully more people will wanna do this. So I'm glad we're gonna be doing more races now because in the previous update, it was definitely more meant on the linked up the popper to fight on that. So now I'm glad that we're kind of, you know, leaning back into the racing because that's personally what I enjoy. The linked ups are fun and everything, but I do like to get a good race in. So it's gonna be fun to see how these cops are gonna be and if they're gonna be pretty difficult or pretty easy on there. So that'll be exciting. Um, looking forward to running, running a couple of those playlists on there. And you know, how big is the bank that we're gonna get paid out? Um, is it going to be equivalent or more to, you know, when you do the whole link, uh, link up because link ups actually paid out really well um, and provided some good money and good XP, depending. And even if you got into it late, you still got a decent amount of money. And then boosted events, playlist and link ups unexpectedly for a limited time become boosted, giving them, giving you an additional reward when completing. Turbocharge your bank balance and earn additional XP and to propel through the speed pass and break that break next speed. No. so this is actually this is actually kind of cool and i'm excited to see this uh new link up locations collaborate in seven link up locations including kennedy test track and the grip construction push to your limits complete challenges and earn xp and build your bank and become more 
immortalized as a main contributor to the top player title. So I'm actually excited for this because during the previous update, you know, the link up locations became kind of uh, routine. It was always just a handful of them. So now I'm glad to see that we're going to have seven new ones to kind of switch up and add to the mix. It will be exciting. And then here is the premium paid ones that we're getting. So we get three I mean, sets, I guess you would say. Um, we get the Unbound Hip Hop Origin Swag Pack, which we get the uh, AMG, the G Wagon. And it looks like we get a new outfit. That's pretty cool. Um, and then, so this is the one that I feel like should be in the Speed Pass. Um, the middle one, the, the Lotus. Because it's gonna give you 10 levels and I feel like this should just be in this car should just be in the speed pass because it just doesn't make any sense for it to be on its own and then you pay for it get the extra bonuses it should be in the speed pass alone to incentivize us to keep going and then it looks like we're also gonna get some vehicles from heat um and you know the previous other games so this uh the Skyland and the 350 were also I believe they were also in someone correct me if I'm wrong but I believe they were also in payback and then he it's another in this one and we get the hero car um which is the pole star one from heat which is actually pretty cool to see and this is going to be the volume four custom pack so in there we're going to get the uh we're going to get eddie's skyline we're going to get rachel's 350 and then we're going to get that pole star so this is going to be kind of cool to see i know in the previous games these ones were something you get when you unlock when you complete certain uh, events or you do a certain number of um, objectives on the game um, so now I actually want to go up and take a look at the okay so here's a speed pass actually um, so we're gonna get some you know the usual clothing oh we don't get all of it unfortunately so these are kind of cool so it's cool to see these little snippets on here um, here is the gauntlet race and it looks like yeah we're gonna have cops in this race I don't know how long the race is gonna be um, but I'm hoping it'll be you know relatively fun and a good Good, uh, amount of distance on there and here are the new locations again a little animation for it see now these porches are really cool um, and then boosted events and so here is this one again that McLaren it's gonna be fun to see and oh there's a better image of G Wagon which it doesn't look that bad I mean personally this is something that I wouldn't use but if you know if you like that look to it go ahead all you I don't really like to use the SUVs in these ones I don't find it to be too viable or too efficient in racing. But this Lotus actually looks pretty cool. I'm um, getting a better kind of look at it. I, oh, got the exposed engine on. That's actually really cool. Might need to get it. We'll take a look. And then here are these ones. So again, the Skyline, the 350, and then the Polestar one. Um, it's cool to see in the game right now. Oh, and then there's a, for those who have ePlay, the subscription to it, you get the Countach. Which is actually kind of cool looking um and i think that's it for the most part it's an all right update i mean it's what you expected a new speed pass some new locations finally we get cops in races which is gonna be fun and again i just wish that they would have added some more cars to the uh speed pass because i know personally i'm not going to use the stickers maybe i'll use the horns some of the clothing i might use depending on what it looks like but I would have enjoyed and would have preferred to have more cars in here to incentivize me to go the full 75. And even if it was more of like a, like a freemium kind of thing where, you know, there are those free items, I wouldn't mind paying, you know, $10, $15 to have extra cars in there and, you know, exclusive, you know, legendary custom ones. I think that would have been really cool to see. Um, overall, I mean, that, that bit looks cool. I'm actually kind of excited to see it. I'm looking forward to trying out the Titan in here. Um, I want to see what crazy or what type of customization we have because, you know, no need for speed. It's all about customization. Is there going to be a battery swap? Does it mean obviously this is a full electric car, so we can't engine swap it, but it would be cool if we're able to. Um, we're just going to have to wait and see. It's going to be pretty easy to get. I mean, you just got to finish uh, three special playlists and then you got it. So, again, pretty straightforward. Uh, that's going to be it for today's video. Again, a quick look at the update coming up. Uh, uh, hit the like button if you guys enjoyed the content. Um, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and then comment down below what do you think about this update is it something that you know is going to catch your attention is it going to bring you back to play more unbound are you going to complete the pass you know let me know how you feel about this um without anything else thanks so much and you guys have a good one peace out